Hey guys, what's going on? Dan here. We're down in beautiful Gulf Shores, Alabama, our home away from home. We brought the travel trailer down, brought six or seven different products from our store that I wanted to review, use. They were things that I thought would be cool and I want to share with you guys. One of them is this tire minder, Smart TPMS. And I'll flash over the details back here on the back. What's cool about this, um, I had to go ahead and install it before we left. I didn't have time to do a full install. Super easy to install. Probably took me 10, maybe 15 minutes to get everything going. In the pack, you're going to get these tire things that I'm going to show you in a moment. You're going to get a range extender, and then you're going to get this little guy right here which is the Bluetooth connector. Now, this is the model that doesn't have a screen on it. Essentially what happens, this thing will tell you if your tires are overheating, if they're underinflated, if they're overinflated, or if they have a leak. I'm gonna simulate a leak, leak to show you guys in a moment, but this will actually flash red and let you know there's a problem. You actually have to use your phone and I'll pull that up real quick. You actually have to use your phone to see exactly what the issue is. So as you see here, I have four tire minders on each of my trailer tires, and I can click each one, and I can see the current temperature of the tire up here, and I can see the pressure of the tire cold. Now, what you wanna do is you have these little guys right here. They have a battery inside of them and they simply screw on over your valve stem. And as you see, it's telling me that I have an issue with this tire, it's showing zero PSI. And you hear this little guy right here reminding me that there's an issue. So, what's nice about this is you set it, you forget it. You basically air up your tires to their cold temperatures. You install these. Now it's gonna come on and tell me that I got my tire hooked up and you sync this device with your phone. And when you're going down the road, you have an on and off button, you turn this on, you throw it in a glove box, you, you set it wherever, and you have this running in the background on your phone. Now what's really cool, this is iPhone or Android. Um, you just let it run in the background and you basically forget about your tires, which is great. You don't have to have that constant worry in the back of your head if you've got a tire that's overinflated. The other great thing, uh, thank God I haven't experienced this, but the other great thing is you're gonna know immediately if you have a tire blow, whereas you might not going down the road, which if you don't, you're gonna run a risk of tearing up your fender, tearing up your camper, uh, you name it. So really cool little device, uh, super easy to install. Uh, just one of those things that takes a little bit of the worry about uh, pulling your travel trailer down the road. So in the excitement of talking about the tire minder, I totally failed to mention that you can actually order additional ones of these. I, I don't know what you call these, but you can actually order additional ones of these and you can put them on your tow vehicle. You can, let's say you have a class A with six tires on it. You can actually buy that with six instead of four. Or like I said, you can order these online. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and order four more and put them on my tow vehicle just so I've got complete coverage whenever I'm going down the road. So another product that we brought down that I'm absolutely in love with is right here behind me. This is the Carefree Easy Zip Blocker. So what this is, is it's a portable, easy to use sunscreen. And I'm gonna show you exactly how easy it is. Essentially, this entire thing slides down into your accessory rail. And I didn't bring a ladder with me and I was able to pull the awning down, slide it into the accessory rail, I had no issues. And if you notice right here where that seam is, there's a zipper in there. So the zipper, whenever you wanna go someplace, you unzip this portion, fold it up, put it away, and that portion will actually roll up into your awning. So it makes it even easier in the future whenever you wanna get this out, you just zip the bottom part on, you're done. You can also add extra se sections. If you see, this doesn't actually go all the way to the ground. If you wanted it to go all the way to the ground, you can add additional segments into this to bring it all the way down. We've uh, been here two nights now. The sun is actually setting directly across from us in the evening. We've been setting on that side. It's great. Sarah, come right here. I want to show them. You can actually still see through it, which is nice. It doesn't obstruct your view of nature, 
but it does give you that extra nice little sunscreen and what that's going to do too is take some of that sun glare off of your camper and keep it cooler so really cool feature one other thing to point out i don't want to forget this if you look right here you have these little eyelets and the packaging actually comes with some rope and some stakes to where you can actually stake this into the ground to hold it steady we haven't had an issue i can't reach all the way over to the grass here we haven't had an issue with this uh swinging around uh, one user actually commented i posted this on facebook the other day and one user commented and said they actually made some little custom weights that they take with them and they just tie this down to a weight so pretty cool little ingenuitive idea really really cool feature that one all right mm -hmm. time to talk about another product that i brought with me this is the ball level with us chalks in the box you get a pair of chalks which i'll show you in a moment and a handy dandy actually pretty nice little ratchet for this come here i'll show you what they do so typically in the past i've always used just a standard wheel chalk back here and what i found is, is you get some movement in the tire obviously because it can move a little bit on there and you just don't feel as safe and secure with it what these do you have one for each side when you get here you basically ratchet this bad boy on make sure that it's snug against both sides of the tire it doesn't have to be over cranked that's not the purpose of it and this is going to help take some not necessarily all but some of that back and forth movement you get in your camper i don't know if any of you have experienced like you walk from the kitchen to the bedroom or you feel somebody walking this helps eliminate some of that and it also is an extra added safety measure that your camper's not going to roll anywhere. Maybe one of your chocks got loose or you just didn't get it in there good enough. So I added this to my routine. When we pulled up, I made sure we were level. I got these bad boys out. I chalked them on each side. And then I ran my slides out, hooked my slunky up, all that good stuff. Easy peasy. Uh, really cool little feature. Okay, another item that we brought is uh, kind of a crappy topic, so to speak, but it's a necessity, and that is the Slunky Hose Support. So, I've seen these in the past couple of years when we went through the campground. In fact, when you drive around through here, everyone has them, and I didn't have one. And I'll show you why they're great and exactly what they do. So I have our Slunky installed now, and what that does is it actually creates an elevation in your hose to where your hose is always dumping. And I didn't really think about it back in the day before we bought one, but what I would have whenever we were getting ready to leave or I was changing from here to our back tank is I would actually have to lift the hose up and drain the hose before I unattached it. This keeps a constant flow and allows that to automatically dump, keeps it up off the ground super easy it all uh compacts together fits in this little box uh, i'll probably get rid of the box and just keep the velcro strap but it compacts together fits in your storage when you bring it out you just lay it out set your hose on top of it it has these little things here that I, i've had issue getting them to stay and i don't really know exactly why you need them but they kind of keep the hose hooked to the slunky itself I don't know that I'll need them every time. I guess maybe that's for wind. But as you see, I've got a few of them hooked up down through here. Really, really cool, simple, simple uh, device just to help your drainage. 